there you go once more these are like special meals these are done these are homely meals meals that are done soul food hey everybody how y'all doing are you hey okay in your neck of when the we dry them up too cool now go too deep you know yeah yeah if you watch joe you know our troops see that apple cider vinegar and our troops Up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be sharing with you how to prepare some mutton soup. I have some mutton here, most of it is the neck part of the goat cut up wash. I look a bit fatty to me. I've trimmed some already, I may still have some, but I know. I'll have to let it come to a boil and then I'll skim the fat. So I'll be using these, just some vegetables, some pumpkin, chochang, carrot, and basically some okras. I'll be putting a little of the noodle mix and just my herbs. I'll be putting no yam, no dumpling, no nothing. This is like a sort of tonic soup for me that is like a go to tonic soup. Uh, from a little girl coming up, I would see my father, you know, when he, he work extra, when he, 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 he butchers his goals, the neck would make soup for him and my mother. And as a little girl, would I get some of it? No food. It's like a tonic. And this, back then, my mother would say it would help her because she, she had a lot of kids. She had 13 of us in close proximity. You know, that is... Uh, no, you, you can't, couldn't ask for nothing more than that for running your nerves. So I find that as I become a woman, when I want, you know, a little go to, you know, sometimes you go to your bed and you wake up. You literally wake up. You sleep for the whole night. You wake up, but you find that so you have to drag yourself out of the bed. That's when I feel like my body wants a little of this. So let's start this soup. So I'm going to slow cook this one this time. Looking at the mutton, you know, look like it too too tough to meat as this pink look but when you get the neck bones from the get the, the neck part at the the, the the goat it has this blood in there so in there you know so you have to soak it in water until it drains free of the blood soak it in water about two three different times and wash it and then it will drain free of the blood so i'm gonna put it in here and i'm gonna bring it to a boil with some hot water yeah I'm gonna it's properly washed and all like that yeah so when you, you know what have it that when you pour your water let me get my flame up on it i'm gonna put some salt in there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let it come to a boil you see how you don't want when you put the water on it it giving it this bloody look because it's the neck of the goat mostly that i get maybe my butcher give me some other little part in there so i'm gonna use make it come to a little boil with a little salt of course and then when it comes to a boil before i had it my little vegetables i am gonna see if there is any grease or fat at the top and then i'll come back skim it off and then i'll add my vegetables and then i'll proceed to show you oh we basically are gonna get a nice little mutton soup here done with no food just more like a little tonic thing for our body next clip so okay it has just come to a boil and i think this is the easiest with all the little fat and the little grease and all of that we can scoop it off yeah we don't want this in our soup you know it's a bone thing so it's like you yeah, do um broth so you know so we you start the bone broth you'd have to mostly skim off this try forget it yeah get all these at the top you don't want these in there a the little grease and something try to get them off as best as possible so we are like on our way mm-hmm so let me try to get off a little more and come back to you so this is it i have five pegs of garlic and i'll be putting it in there and i'll be leaving my vegetable to start slow cook with it as we go along we're gonna slow cook this for about half an hour starting out half an hour on the medium and i just put my garlic in there you don't need to put nothing else if you are doing it my way this is how i'm doing it you can do it any other way you want to mm? you can just put it if you want put food in there you can put food i normally me not, me not want no food 
you know but just want this little kind of little um what you call this now just no more like just soup but i would have said soup water so you see they'll just always start in it yep over here i'm bringing to a boil some tomatoes i'm gonna strip the skin and i'm gonna get a little bit of tomato puree in so you'll see how that happen how we figure out with that so at the point there no skim off that and all of that we're gonna leave it on a medium heat for start the slow cook until the vegetables start break down and everything start coming together that is the time when i'll return to you but as i said before you can use it make it a regular soup put your food your can your dumpling your yam your dashing anything you want to put but i just want this thing not just soup i don't want a food i just don't want soup more like a tonic you know so i'll catch you in the next clip so this is where we are at after about 25 minutes and i'm gonna be emptying out all the soda i don't want the noodles in there so you know what i mean i don't really want the noodles i just want like the powdery flavor yeah although we know so uh, yeah i don't really want any noodles so this is it i'm gonna lower my flame a bit too and you see all the meat they come clean and nice yeah nice and pretty cooking away with the vegetables i did cut the vegetables really fine because i want them to just break right down as i go through all right so as soon as it recedes more i'll be adding more hot water and i'll show you as i go along it's not hard it's just like you leave it to cook slow cook but if you could you could have put it too in your pressure it would um carry a little faster but when you slow cook it it's better you know the vegetable get enough time to break down and then the meat fall you know cook until it falls off the bones and you have that nice soupy thing so i'm gonna be letting it cook some more giving it this thorough are these are thorough steers to let you see what is happening i'm gonna be chopping now some herbs like my scallions and i'll show you what i'll be putting in there because in the next clip or at the next interval i will put in them in so i'll show you so family we are back on the road with this goat neck bone soup so you see oh, it has reduced it has been reduced you can see our bones are like greening up moving away there are some there where the bones have literally fallen off already let me see if i can find i don't know if some tougher than some are work i know sometimes you get these things they are mixed yeah, but i see where there were bones falling off the meat and that is what we really want i just i checked it sometime before now but any of you this is where we are our meat is at its peak i'm gonna turn my flame up a little bit yeah this is my chopped scallions and um this is my time i didn't try to get too much of the sticks in i'm gonna get this thing up my pimento seeds remember to rinse them and let them drain off a bit if you want to give them a smash you can give them a smash they want to turn up your eat right now this is a part of my show stopping soup this is some freshly pureed tomatoes didn't get the color i don't know what's wrong with the color but i wanted it mostly for thickening and a little flavor and some green basil is in it freshly green basil so i'm gonna spurry the basil up in at it so look at this it's gonna come to a boil wow wow and i wanted you to be here look at that now this is what i have i have one and a half dozens okra and i slice them thin and i'm gonna put it in it. putting it in there mother must get tight tongue with this in dad wow you smell that basil i'm gonna go now this is optional if you don't like a lot of garlic i'm gonna be putting three extra grated pegs of garlic in there that is what i really 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 do love and this basil this freshly pureed basil with the tomatoes get rid of tomatoes family you know wow this is so beautiful let me tell you family my whoops of them just hurry up and come with sitting where you can't smell enough you know? mm, i know say 
technology I deal with it thing you know so get this thing up and run in but you don't know what happened gotta put some more hot water man about a cup and a half that is and that should do the trick look at this so you want there so no and you have a tear snow for your final final salt, salt perfection if you want to put in other things you can but i would suggest you keep away from powdered seasonings for this mm? if you want to try it look at that look at that look at that i'm gonna put this in if it wasn't for dad i would slicely like chop it fine put in there because i wanted a little of that eat but i'm gonna put it all and i want to taste right now my flavors are not properly gelled as yet but i want with the the, 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 the tomato and the basil and the the the, the, the chopped scallions that they're not gelled as yet i'm just going there so i just want to taste for salt perfection wow this thing is good salt is on point and the okra in and the magua with some something and i am not supposed to be the one to tell you what this does for your body if you are somebody that knows what them thing you do i'm not supposed to tell you bring your eat right back down to low we are giving this about 20 to 25 minutes and when you see me next, I'll be plating up some of this goodness. This is what is going to rejuvenate my body. It is going to let me, when I have about two or three, maybe I won't get three, but I'll get two. Two bowls of this. And when you get up in the mornings, you'll be ready for the day, fresh, ready. The moment you find your body start lagging back, that when you to get up out of bed, you, 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 you literally have to be dragging yourself. If you sit and you get up, you got to be like, you know, this will let you, when you get up, you step off with a spring in your step. I catch you in the next clip. Okay, now fam, it's about that time. This is my pepper. That I fret if it bursts in there, no bursts, man. It's just dwindled down. Okay, let's smell it. So, this is the final look this is not a filling soup it's a soup to strengthen your body bones and your soup and all like that i'm gonna let it sit down and rest a bit and when you see me next i'll be plating up some just for you rest it for a few minutes and this is the beauty of it bone um goat neck bones is soup Look at this. From my kitchen to yours. From my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach. It is your neck bone soup from the goat of itself. That's the neck. You don't want anything else. Let me clean up and come back. There you go once more these are like special meals these are done these are homely meals meals that are done soul food these are meals that are done with love at home give it a go let me know if you are somebody that has worked my age group a little Ola, you have been working two or three jobs you work at night you have been doing so much you find sometimes that your body is like you know you just want that pep up there Give this a go. Let me know. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Remember to check in the description of this and all my other videos and lives. There will be the link to my Patreon. And also, let me stop at this point to say thanks to all my Patreons that have been enjoying extra content over there that we don't have on YouTube. Remember to make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for the love. As I say again, remember to be you, do you, most of all. Remember to make you some of this goat neck bone soup. It does not fill you up. It strengthens you up. Gonna go now and get mine in.